you go out there, the stubs of the old grass stuff. Uh, but we've got a real invasion of uh, green ash coming in, in through here. And this would be a, uh, a, a, a more uh, transition zone between the sedge meadow and the and, uh, woodland, and this would be more savanna area. So we're cutting basically green ash here, there's a little bit of buckthorn. We're tagging the stuff to save, which are basically the small swamp white oaks, like these two here, here are swamp white oaks. We'll tag other stuff. So if we, we can move out way over this area and over into here, and then we're going to pile uh, for a brush pile to be burned at a later date right here. Uh, we need to cut stuff up smaller, make it a little bit tighter. If we were just burning, we could throw uh, bigger stuff on it, but we, we want a tight brush pile. We don't want it to sprawl all over, uh, so we need to cut stuff up a little bit more. And like uh, Bill's there doing, you know, cutting the side branches off the ash. So uh, if we can kind of spread out in groups so we're not, you know, crawling over each other uh, and just start working on this green ash and, and go through these groups. And if you're wondering if it's green ash, just ask. Yeah. And is there some point at which we're not supposed to be cutting? Like, is there. So what's the boundary of the work area? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably be working more this way uh, as we get all this out. Uh, less so that way, so it'll be more... Toward the railroad track? Toward the railroad track. Okay. Time. I'll tell you when to stop. We'll see how fast. Uh, we'll, we'll be over time today, so we, you know, the stump should be pretty uh, uh, short. Okay. Because uh, there's, no, there's hardly any snow there. So, there are a few tall uh, green ashes here. They're not real big, but they're tall, so just be careful as they're coming down. Make sure Sorry, you guys want lockers? You can tell. This isn't for. It's not? No, 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 no. I want to back down. Don't cut it. I'm not cutting it. I'm just looking at it. Uh, one always holds the sash so that the uh -huh. points are behind the facing back. That way, if you were to fall, you're not going to fall at home. If you sort of just drop it to the side. Would you, you ever, would you ever trip? I'll show you. You may, yeah, you may want to, we'll get you a smaller pair. Right? We have smaller kids' oh, size. Oh, I see them. And that's exactly how you carry them. Yeah.
the back stop and have somebody come out here and burn these brush piles during the week? Yep, that's what John said. So they, they torch them and somebody gets to stand here and watch the fire burn? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, so I'm still a little bit unsure of what I'm doing up here, but keep, keep, the uh, yeah, keep, keep instructing, so. Alright. Oh my god! I've seen piles that are literally in Miami Woods. We saw one that was the size of a bus. Jeez. I couldn't even fit it in the frame. I had to take two photos. And then it had a live tree in the middle, and they just burned the whole thing with the live tree in the middle. Did the live tree go too? Oh, yeah. They've done that here. They did that uh, the last time you were here. He died with no top on it. He's walking up around. He has no mask. You know. One time, uh, Johnny and I were walking through here a couple years ago after the Garlando big section, and I had a big respiratory reaction to that. 